your job easier. Not to put you on the spot, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's so, you know, years and years ago when I only had, when I didn't have, when there were no you know, websites, I had to find somebody for a story. It was working the phones and calling friends. Do you know a mom who has a kid who has a peanut allergy? Do you know anybody who has a car that has an accelerator that sticks? Now I just pop it up and it goes, Hi, for me. Here you go. <laughs> So, it's, yeah, it makes my job really, really easy. Such a huge part of technology is the interaction that we get with our users. And, and Tracy, you're really good at that, Glenn, you're really good at that as well. Vince, you're kind of the, the voice, and, and you kind of bring that out on the air. What, what does it mean to have the users as part of the broadcast? I think it adds another dynamic to what we do, and it allows us to validate what we're doing, and then to correct if we're doing something that people don't necessarily agree with, or they feel like that we are giving too much coverage to something, and it allows them to be a part of it and personalize the newscast, whereas before, we're up here and we're telling the news and uh, from a perspective that we hope is the right perspective, now we can kind of customize the newscast, like I said, to equalize what everybody wants to know. I mean, when we did, uh, when uh, the, the Penn State sex abuse scandal happened, Everybody just wanted to know and voice their anger or frustration or, or their support to whoever in that situation. And it really gave us a, a real opportunity to share people's thoughts and um, actions on air in a way that we never really could before. The same thing for the hurricane. We were able to share people's instant feedback. It kind of extended the newsroom out all across the area in an opportunity, uh, in a situation where we didn't have the opportunity to go out and shoot all of these areas and things that were happening we were able to provide people with situations that were happening you know right in their area it was the ultimate user generated content that came in and then went back out and became part of our broadcast i think it's a good segue with the hurricane to mr hurricane Schwartz. um you know you you weren't really big on, on technology and social media you were always a, a weather geek but you know these new new tools have really kind of changed the way you do your job too yeah, i kind of had a revelation one day uh, being the oldest person in the room, by far, <laughs> really uh, get on top of a lot of these new things. And I was at the shore one day on a weekend, my day off, and it was raining in the morning. And it was a Sunday. And I knew that the weather was going to improve. And it was going to be a real nice afternoon. But I saw all these people leaving the beach and all these people checking out and leaving town because they gave up on the weekend. And, I, and I'm walking on the beach right after the rain and, as it's getting better. And I'm thinking, I wish I could find some way to tell these people <laughs> <laughs> that the weather's going to improve and that they shouldn't give up on, on their weekend at the shore. Oh. Twitter. <laughs> I can do this right from my cell phone walking on the beach or laying on the beach. So uh, that's when I started. And then soon after that, we had the hurricane. Yep. And so that kind of exploded everything. Uh, but also for uh, the website and, and, and other parts, there's a, uh, a group on the internet called the American Weather Forum. And it's a bunch of meteorologists from around the area, not necessarily on TV, National Weather Service people, private forecasters, and weather enthusiasts who discuss the weather all the time, that's fine, but they also give real-time reports uh, with the weather and what's going on in their area, plus, of course, pictures. Everybody's got cameras. So it's all on the website, and that's one of the ways that I'm able to follow the storm and say, oh, they have uh, two inches and can't square already. Because I know these are reliable people who are not just making up numbers to try to get on TV or whatever, plus they're showing pictures. So what, what I did is I went on the site and I saw some of the pictures and I emailed them or replied to them directly. I said, is it okay if uh, we use your picture on TV? And then of course they always said yes. And that's how we get some of these pictures on during the hurricane, you know, trees down and, and the snowstorms. Uh, but uh, we'd be able to do that with, uh, with snow as well. So I'm at least finding some very, very practical ways that not only help me, but help you guys too. Um, so it's a win-win for everybody. Glenn, I, I know you got to go on TV to just give us yeah. the signal. Maybe pop by yeah. after you're done? Right. I, I just have the first block to do, and then I can come back. got to make TV. Back. So we'll be right, right. back. <laughs> 
Tracy, I think it's, it's, a, it's a good segue to you, too. I mean, as a consumer reporter, you know, there's all these different things out there for people to know. How has the web made your job easier to find all this information that was just out there and maybe not able to be found easily? You know, with, with Twitter and all these different tools that you use, you're getting a lot more updates and alerts and things like that when there's a recall of a product or if there's um, something like that for people to find that you might not have been able to find previously. Yeah, I'm constantly getting updates. So what I think I might, you know, in the beginning of our day, we have an editorial meeting. Everybody says what they're going to cover for the day. And obviously, I have consumer stories that I'm going to cover for the day. It might be completely different by the time I actually go on TV because of all the updates that we're getting. And, and it's great because people are always, if I'm not signed up to some feed, somebody's actually sending me or tweeting me, hey, did you know that this site got shut down? Hey, did you know that there's this recall? And we're really, really connected to the social media monitor of this, so they can give us the new buttons to us too. So. Um, Vince, talk a little bit about, we mentioned the hurricane, but what is it like when, when people want to share their photos, they want to share their experiences? This is all about making it a two-way communication, right? Um, you know, we're getting bombarded with photos. How do we get through all that? Well, you know, once, first thing we have to do is validate the photo and make sure that it's a legitimate item. Especially during the hurricane, there were a lot of things that were coming in that people were sending in that were from Florida, you know, two years ago, and there's this wall of, of clouds, and I'm like, that doesn't look right, and there's palm tree in here, you know, <laughs> so you have to make sure that what we're, what is reliable, what we're putting on, on TV, so that it, it passes the standards, but, um, I mean, it was in New Jersey, wasn't it, the palm tree? The, there was a palm tree during the snowstorm that somebody had in their backyard that yeah. fell over that actually, it actually was real, um, <laughs> but, uh, you, I mean, it, we, we get pictures all the time. It doesn't have to be for a, uh, a snowstorm, a major, a major event, something like that. It could be for a story that somebody saw all the time. And we'll get information. That's how we start a story. Somebody will see an accident, and they'll tweet it to Tracy, they'll tweet it to me, they'll tweet it to the station. And then we'll go, and our assignment desk will start the process of finding out all the information from police. And then we can go and turn it into a, an amazing story like that. So, yeah, it's a good point you bring up. I mean, in many ways, you know, and I know we've got some AP people here, the AP wires are still such a reliable source for us, but in many ways, Twitter has become that real, real-time real information source for us in a lot of ways to, um, to find things as they're happening. We're getting people that are sending us pictures, alerts, everything on, on the web um, because they're at the scene. You know, the, um, yeah, I'll just leave it at that. I want to open it up to questions, though, because I've